What's up, gang? Happy Monday, Mobility Monday. I uh, hope you're enjoying your President's Day weekend. Um, if you are still stuck sitting at a desk or you wanna spend a little bit of time today doing something really, really great for your back, for your overall mobility, um, I often tell clients, if you only have one minute to do something really, really good for your spine, for your body, this is my ultimate choice. This is something that I recommend everybody do every day, every morning, couple times a day if possible, to add a little bit of thoracic extension to your spine. So uh, I won't bore you too long. Most of us know we're kind of like sitting around like this all the time. Our spines are looking like eggs. We're in this flexion. Um, maybe you've gotten the memo that we need a little bit more thoracic extension, right? Oftentimes people think they're extending. So this is a thoracic flexion. This is how we hang out most of the day. We've gotten the memo that we need a little bit more thoracic extension. Um, so, grab a foam roller. You can grab any foam roller that you like. Uh, I don't love for this one the ones that have like the mean, you know, like like spikes on them. I don't love that. Uh, I have a nice medium sized foam roller here. Uh, you can have a softer one. Hands behind your head, hips up, and you're gonna hang out and you're gonna go all the way up. Oh, I'm about three quarters of the way down. Should feel really, really nice. Notice one thing I'm trying to do is to keep my hips up, my body parallel with the ground. Try not to drop your butt like that. I'm arching my lower back. That kind of hurts my lower back. I would like you to try to keep neutral lower back, so pelvis tucked under, and I'm just letting the roller go up and down above my shoulder blades, just below my neck, and about three quarters of the way down. You can go down into the lower back if you want to, but we're really trying to focus on the thoracic, the mid part of your spine. Notice here, my chest is open, right? My hands support my neck, so my, my neck is nice and neutral, and the roller and gravity are just giving me some nice extension of that spine. Okay, so about a minute there. If you've got a little bit of extra time, this one's a little bit more complicated, but feels really nice. So I'm gonna find that foam roller. I'm gonna put that foam roller about a little bit below my shoulder blades. My shoulder blades are right there, so I'm about an inch or two below it. My butt is on the ground. My pelvis is tucked under. <laughs> my abs are tight, my ribs are down. I'm gonna put my hands behind my head. And keeping my butt on the ground, I'm just gonna slowly drop down. So notice my lower back is neutral because I'm tucking my pelvis under and pressing my ribs down. And I'm opening up the thoracic there. Oh, and then I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna go back again. So it's like I'm doing a slow reverse crunch. So I go into as much flexion as I can comfortably without pain, and I just come back up. And I might be like, okay, do a couple here. Uh, let's see what it feels like if I go up a little bit, right? And get those upper vertebrae. So you can move up and down and just try to get your thoracic spine to crunch and wrap around that roller. Maybe your head gets all the way to the floor, maybe not, but just as you do it, make sure your butt's not coming up, right? You wanna keep your butt down and you wanna just think about moving through and opening your arms up towards the floor like that. So ultimately I end up oh, hanging out here and it feels really good. All right, so let me know how that does for you. If something doesn't feel right, stop right away, right? If for, if, if, if you have questions, feel free to message me and I'd be happy to help. But uh, extend thoracically today. All right, bye.